strong start. Yeah. Hello, we are Curse Productions and we are here today to present our short film, Away. The meaning behind the team name was based on the idea that we were starting completely from scratch. We had no idea of where we were going with the project and we have progressed from being clueless to what we hope is a very good short film concept. As our film is largely focused on suspense and anticipation building up throughout the scene, it was clear that Away complied to the majority of the conventions of the thriller genre. However, as our film is largely focused around mental instability of our main character, it fits into the subgenre psychological thriller. Both The Silence of the Lambs and Maniac investigate the psychological unease of a character. However, with Maniac, we see it directly from their perspective. As we are amateurs to the film industry, we've decided that we want to distribute our short film by uploading it to an interactive broadcasting site known as Short of the Week. Short of the Week allows all kinds of filmmakers to upload their work to the general public to view, and at the end of the week, one of those films is selected to be the Short of the Week. When we come to marketing our film, we are going to select the two auxiliary tasks that we believe are most suited to our film. We'll be producing the compulsory poster, which will be a great way to get the mystery around our concept across. Nothing will be given away, and it will all be left up to the audience interpretation, just like our film. The radio trailer will also be useful as we can portray the peaceful, harmonious bulk of the film through, through various conversations and music, then end with the baby crying and the fire alarm going off, with the noise slowly fading, showing the sense of anticipation our entire film is based around. Target audience. From studying both demographics and psychographics, we came to the conclusion that our main target audience would be women aged 16 to 34, and people that like to experience and make new things. Demographics are a form of quantitative data that takes into account age, gender, social class, etc. From our research, we found that women of 16 to 34 commonly have children, spending a lot of time watching children's TV, and they like to wind down on the night and watch something enticing, which is nothing short of what our film offers. Psychographics, on the other hand, are a form of qualitative data that categorise people into three clear-cut categories based on a vowels test. The type of audience we will market our film are those of self-expression, the bracket in which both experiences and makers fall under. It's people that like to make new things, experience new things, and investigate or get an understanding of things they were not aware of before. I feel the psychological element of our film offers this to an audience. In suburban England, office worker Sarah, single mother of one, is living her average home life when she is faced with a threatening situation. An anonymous colleague develops an uncontrollable obsession following her every move. Sarah starts receiving cards, texts and various gifts that, unbeknown to the viewer, become the first signs of stalking. Following a locket arriving at the house containing a photograph of Sarah and her child, it becomes evident to her that she is in severe danger. As time progresses and the plot unfolds, we see Sarah and her child's life put, put in jeopardy when the stalker makes regular visits to the family home. Appearing to the audience as merely part of the family, the stalker is actually watching his desired family through the house windows. Countless phone calls to the police prove unsuccessful due to the lack of evidence tracing back to the stalker. Although the various texts and gifts appear to be the signs of a long-distance relationship in play, in the closing scene we finally become aware that this is not any normal relationship. The scene reveals Sarah drugged and unconscious in bed with her child crying hysterically. When the stalker is finally revealed, stood static at the end of the bed, watching the victim in a complete trance. I will now show you the animated storyboard me and my group created for our short film, which explains the various stages of the plot. You just make it there. Scene one. <laughs> Sarah types on a computer in the office, looking up and smiling, wearing a ring. Scene two. Stalker is picking up his briefcase, shows his feet walking to train station, train arriving. Scene three. Stalker sitting back on the sofa and sending his first ever text to Sarah. Scene 4. Sarah putting down the baby, walking off to the phone and receiving it. Scene 5. Fast forwarded montage scene of the various gifts and messages. Scene 6. The montage continues revealing the stalker getting onto the train and looking through Sarah's window. This is showing his daily routine. Scene 7. The montage ends and there is an immediate cut to Sarah and the child playing in the park with the stalker watching. Scene 8. Follow back from the park, sees the corner playing through the window and we hear the stalker gasp. Scene 9. The fire alarm's going off, the baby's crying and we see the various rooms showing torn up flowers and cards. Scene 10. The final scene finally reveals the stalker who has drugged Sarah and is in a trance watching her. 
Not safe to look at the door. This is um, the mood board we created, but I think the most important thing on here is probably the narrative section because it's like key to our film. Um, now, like, it's first person narrative and it's probably the most crucial part because it's told solely from the perspective of our stalker. It takes an unusual spin on a typical film whereby the victim's perspective is usually shown. We are shown that in the stalker's mind, they are, they are actually in a relationship with the victim and it's not stalking to them. I feel this idea works particularly well for a short film, as the twist ending where we reveal that he actually is a stalker is something that wouldn't necessarily work in like a feature length film. Uh, research shows that psychological thrillers tend to appeal more to women uh, due to the fact that they tend to have emotional or mental conflicts as opposed to a physical one which appeals more to female audience. Also, because the victim tends to be female, women can relate more to the victim. Psychological thrillers tend to appeal also more to an older audience as they typically contain some sort of mystery which may be confusing to younger audiences. They're also not suitable for very young audiences due to the fact that they may have uh, themes that will find disturbing. Therefore, we feel that our, our target audience of 16 to 34 year old women is correct. From watching other short films on Short of the Week, we have seen that other successful short films with the similar genre uh, of psychological thriller uh, contain similar narrative themes to ours, such as a uh, lack of a very small amount of dialogue, a strong amount of mystery, and almost always with an ending with a twist. Looking at similar short films, also showed that psychological thriller is a fairly successful genre as they were very popular and highly rated and had very strong and interesting plots. We've chosen to display our short film on Short of the Week. This seems to be a good choice as many short films gain popularity through the website due to the fact that it highlights the most popular shorts every week. And also because it's a site designed specifically for short films, so anyone viewing the website will be looking to watch short films. Thank you for your time. Please click and follow our questionnaire to let us know what you think of our project. And any constructive criticism is welcome. Thank you. Thank you.